pay and interact with niche-specific Instagram influencers. Please understand that persona is the name of the game in Instagram. People follow personas. They're not following just because somebody has nice pictures. Most people can do that. Most people can manage to post nice pictures every once in a while. Instead, they're following personas because they have a distinct spin on whatever niche they're in. They have a distinct personality. They have a distinct point of view. Whatever the case may be, it has elements of some sort of cult. By cult, I'm not using that phrase in a negative way. Instead, people are looking for just a specialized knowledge from people who specialize in that type of information. There's a little bit of a cult dynamic going on here. When you have that kind of relationship with your following, they are more likely to give you the benefit of the doubt. They're more likely to click on the profile links of people you're giving a shout out to. That's real influence. And that's how a lot of products are sold on Instagram. For example, if you follow somebody who you can count on to publish the very best pictures on luxury watches that he or she actually wears, chances are you would sit up and pay attention when this person posts a picture of a really nice looking big brand watch with the message 40% off on it. That would get your attention. You would then click on the link of the account that the person is shouting out to, or you can even type in the domain name or URL they mention and type in your discount code. That's how influence works. It's all about this cult of personality. Beware of fake influencers. Unfortunately, when word came out that online stores were paying good money to Instagram influencers for product placements and shoutouts, a lot of shady marketers started building fake accounts. Just how fake are these accounts? Well, first of all, they target certain niches. Next, they draw followers. The problem here is that the account itself is fake and the followers are fake. This is a serious problem because if you pay the person behind these accounts real money to post shoutouts, your shoutouts are going to fall on deaf ears. Nobody's going to pay attention. Why? Most of their followers are fake. They're driven by software. They don't exist. They definitely don't have credit cards. Do you see how much of a headache this could be? It is no surprise that a lot of big global brands are now stepping away from Instagram influencers because they're getting tired of being faked out. Real influence means real engagement. So how do you make sure that you pay and interact only with real niche-specific Instagram influencers? Well, it's actually not all that hard. You only need to look at the public statistics of these accounts. You can see the amount of engagement their content gets. You can also see how many followers they have. You need to measure the total amount of engagement they get by dividing that number by the number of followers they have. Look for a ratio. This is how you would know if there is enough engagement with that account. This is a way of seeing who's fake and who's not. You can also look at the content that they post. If they keep posting the same stuff over and over again, that might be a red flag. Also, look at the comments. Is there actual care taken in sharing? The four key signs of fake influence. So how do you know that you're dealing with a real influencer? After all, real influence means actual conversions. There are four telltale signs of fake Instagram influence. Sign number one, equal following and follower ratio. If you notice that an account follows a lot of other accounts while enjoying a large following, this should be a red flag. Chances are they just followed a lot of accounts so these other accounts would follow them back. Those people may be real, but they're not interested in what this account is posting because they're just following back out of courtesy. That's fake influence. Sign number two, low engagement ratio. If you notice that this account posts a lot of content, but the engagement ratio is low, this is a red flag. If your account has real followers, there should be a certain level of engagement. It's not like all your posts are going to suck. If you notice that this account doesn't really get that much engagement, that should be a red flag. Sign number three, they obviously ask for money. If it's obvious from the profile description of the niche specific account you're trying to buy shout outs from that they take payments, you might want to pay attention. Look at how they describe themselves. If they make a big deal out of the fact that they're selling shout outs or they want you to get in touch with them so you can take out an ad, be very suspicious. The very best influencers on Instagram are those who are hobbyists. These are people who are just very passionate about a particular topic. They don't really care about getting paid. They just eat, sleep, and live the topic. Maybe it's travel. Maybe it's women's fashion. Maybe it's luxury watches. Maybe it's sports cars. Whatever the case may be, they are hobbyists. 
They are passionate about that topic, so they post picture after picture of that topic. Those are the people you should gun for. Be very suspicious of people who are all about the dollars because there's a strong chance that they put up their account just so they can get shout out and other influencer ad revenue. I'm not saying that this should completely disqualify them, but there's a higher incentive for them to fake stuff because there's money on the line. Sign number four, no niche specialization. If it turns out that this influencer account tends to rotate among different niches, this should be a red flag to you. What this person is doing is that he or she is trying to get the attention of advertisers from different product niches that they know advertisers normally target. This person doesn't really have a focus. Even in the off chance that this account is real, I can bet you that the traffic that this person gets is probably close to worthless. Start with a slow and low buy. The first thing that you need to do is to get a massive list of influencers out there and then contact them. Now, I'm assuming that you have filtered out fake accounts. Contact them. The name of the game here is volume. Try to get as many different influencers as you can and contact them. Ask them, can I buy for $5 or whatever low rate you can come up with? The name of the game here is to get as many shout outs and picture ad placements for as little money as possible. The next step is to track these campaigns and see which, if any, of those influencers can deliver real results. You should be able to come up with a top three. If you, for example, have 100 influencers running your ads and doing shout outs, you should be able to identify the top three in terms of conversions. You own your online store, so you know whether you sold or not. You know whether you moved a product or not. You should also use specialized discount codes so you can track who is actually selling. Pick the top three and pay them more for exposure. This is how you maximize your results. So, you start out low and slow, and then you scale up the campaigns that actually produce the desired results.